How's it going guys? ArcherBillXC aka The Rage and Cajun here and I am here with a very special video. Um, I guess you could say sponsored, not really. Um, I received a review copy of Marvel United, uh, a partnership game between Spin Master and uh, Simon or Come On Games. I'm not huge into like the board game community. I am recently doing that. I just learned how to play Santorini like two nights ago with my buddies um, and I'm learning all these other board games and stuff. But a while back on my channel, I did a couple videos talking about how I was really excited about this game uh, because I am a backer of it on Kickstarter. I did the whole package. I'm getting all the stuff later. And as you know, this game kind of grows, I will progress to showing all those things. But this is the base set. This is uh, something that's gonna give you everything you need to play the game all in one. There's plenty of characters, uh, everything on the front, I think. Yeah, everybody on the front here is definitely in this box. Um, and the game is really cool. This is gonna be kind of just a strict unboxing and I'm gonna do an actual game review of how the game plays later with some gameplay footage so that anybody who's new to this or hasn't seen this game in action yet uh, gets a chance to do it. So uh, we're gonna change the camera angle a little bit and show you what's inside the box. All right, we're here at the table here. Um, this is Marvel United. It's a relatively small box, uh, but there is a, a lot in here. I'm actually gonna flip it on the back to show you what the contents are here. Um, so you're gonna get all of these minis. Uh, the minis are really high quality. Uh, Simon is kinda known for some pretty high quality minis. Um, and you're gonna get a couple different people. So Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, Hulk, Captain Marvel, Ant-Man, and Wasp. Wasp is uh, going to be with the Kickstarter release of this game and also with the regular big box store release of this game. Uh, currently, apparently, there is a Walmart exclusive that replaces Wasp with Venom. Um, and so for the villains, there will always be the same in this box. You have the Red Skull, Ultron, and Taskmaster, which is kind of a different choice. Um, if you know, you're know you a Marvel fan, you know all of these guys and they're all good choices for you, kind of like me. Huge Marvel fan. Um, but for some people, they might not even know who Taskmaster is. Uh, he's kind of a Black Widow villain. I think he's the villain in the new Black Widow movie. Um, so uh, he is a little more familiar and that's probably why they did this because this is going to release around the time that was supposed to but because of COVID I think they pushed that back if I'm not mistaken. Um, you'll notice here a little image of gameplay. Uh, we'll kind of go over that. Again I'm going to be doing a gameplay review on the channel after this uh, and you also have all your contents here but we're going to look at those uh, in person. So um, let's flip it over and I'm going to open it up here and there's some cool box art on the side. Also, the box art on the front is really pretty, very bright. It's gonna catch some eyes on the shelves. Um, and we have a rule book here, it's upside down because I went in here earlier. <laughs> That's okay. There you go, just pretending you can see that. All right, so there's the rule book. Uh, on the sides here, we have some really cool character art of all the different characters that are included. Okay, give you a good look at those. All right, and back to the front here. Um, rule book. Uh, this is available as a PDF online, I believe. Uh, there's a very good community for this game. We have a Discord server, and honestly, I'm kind of making this video for them because uh, we haven't had this yet, but the rule book is in here, explains how to play. Again, I'll go over all this uh, in a review video for the gameplay, uh, but great rule book, uh, big font, easy to read, and a very easy game to learn, all right? So here's our tokens. Uh, we're gonna go down in layers here. Um, a lot of this gets explained later, as I said, uh, but you got thug tokens, which are reversible to citizen tokens, or, um, yeah, citizen tokens. Um, you have the threat tokens and your, uh, I forgot what these are called, uh, but the, the villains give you these crisis tokens. Um, and those are all here for you. There's not too many of them, uh, but you shouldn't need too much more than that. So I'll put that off to the side. Uh, some more tokens here. You have your heroic tokens, your wild card tokens, your punch tokens, your moves. I, I don't know what these are. I actually haven't come across these yet in my testings. Uh, and these look like three more threat tokens. Uh, so those are there for you. And I think we're getting into the cool part of the box. I love the packaging here. During the Kickstarter, they sent us a bunch of different emails telling us how they were going over the sculpting of the box and everything. And they paid really close uh, attention to detail to stuff. And uh, I want to show you that. So here we go. I'm gonna move this and we get a really good look inside the box here. So uh, the way they did this, I love because it lets you kind of display your figures inside the box in a nice way without like throwing them all in there. Um, but let me remove the plastic so you get a way better look at it. Uh, and we can kind of zoom in on that to show them off a little bit. Um, they're really high quality figures. 
uh, if I take one out here. This is Ant-Man. Um, you know, it doesn't feel like cheap plastic at all. It's it's really, really good. All right, so uh, again, Ant-Man here. Um, really high quality stuff. I love them to death. Like this is mainly the reason I, I bought this game, to be honest with you. Uh, I actually took up the hobby of miniature painting in preparation for getting this game because you know I'm new to it. I never really painted anything, uh, but I do have some stuff I just I just started painting. So I bought some Space Marines just to learn. Don't laugh at my paint job. I am very much a baby at this uh, and some other things. So this game has inspired me to take up an entirely new hobby uh, to pick up another hobby, which is board gaming. So um, let's get a good look at some of these. So we have Ant-Man here. Ant-Man, which I just showed you, I get a good look at. He's like on a coin, which is really cool because he's tiny, obviously. Uh, and then same thing with Wasp here. Uh, uh, she's on a dice, which is kind of cool. And it's like a full-size dice almost. Uh, so it's like, she's actually that small. It's really cool. So this is like a life-size wasp. Really cool. We'll go through the heroes first. So Black Widow, very nice. She's got her little batons. They're very tiny, but like I said, they don't feel like they're going to fall apart, which is really good. Every base is different. It's got like actual texture, like broken up ground and tile and stuff. Obviously, she has the dice and everything. Uh, we got Iron Man, whose base is really dope. He's like blasting off and he's got these blast lines and everything. Those are going to be really fun to paint. Um, and Iron Man himself is. I'm really excited for this. Uh, his design's actually really cool. Uh, and he's got a, his hand pushing out a little pulse there. Uh, Captain America, the OG, the real guy. All right, his shield's there, sculpted in, so it's going to be pretty easy to paint. Um, and he is your classic dude. And he's like on a street, so there's like a street drain. Kind of cool, going to be fun to mess around with. The biggest model in the box by far is the Incredible Hulk. Everyone's favorite green man. Um, he's very, very muscular. Uh, I love the chibi design uh, to all these minis, something that some people are kind of weirded out by, but just I'm looking at them in person, I'm telling you. They're very nice and they're very high quality and it's, it's going to look really good on the game board, especially with the art style of the game. And last but not least, Captain Marvel herself in her classic attire, not what you see in the movie, but I think she like does it for like a second, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a couple scenes where she has her full thing on. Uh, and it's gonna be really fun to paint. I love the Mohawk um, and her base is really cool. It's like bricks and everything. And she's like floating. She's like flying on her little, I don't know what those are, little dress things, but uh, she's very cool. So that's your minis. They're stored in like a raised fashion. So like if you're holding the box up, I don't even know if they'll actually well, no, that doesn't make sense. If it's flat on the table, they're lifted up to you, so it's cool. Um, I didn't talk about the villains. Let's talk about the villains. Uh, first is gonna be Red Skull, because that's the one that apparently they tell you to start with. Uh, but Red Skull, obviously, is Captain America's main villain, uh, the leader of Hydra, and that's kind of how he plays. He has a bunch of stuff uh, going on with Hydra. Uh, but his base is really cool. He's like propped up, his legs propped up on the base. I love it. Um, he's really awesome. Uh, Taskmaster. Uh, it's supposed to be one of the harder ones, but he's he's got a really cool model. Uh, his face is like a skull, um, and it's his mouth is sunken in. It's actually really cool. It's going to be kind of a pain to paint that, but it'll be okay. I'll be really happy with it. Um, and he's got a sword. He's dope, and he's got a shield. Uh, and his base is kind of neat. It's got like wires everywhere. But Taskmaster is supposed to be one of the harder ones, so I'm pretty interested to actually get to play against him. And Ultron. I love Ultron. Uh, ever since Age of Ultron, the movie, uh, James Spader is a great voice actor for Ultron, and he makes the whole part for me. Uh, and literally because of James Spader, I am an Ultron fan, uh, and he's going to be really cool. I haven't decided how I'm going to paint him, like metallics or whatever. Um, I'm assuming that's what I'll end up doing, but he has like the lines in him that glow, so I'm going to try to Going to try to try to make them look a little interesting, but anyway, um, that is Ultron, and those are all of our models for the game. Uh, so now we're going to break into uh, the pieces inside of the game uh, that you get. So these are going to be your location uh, zones, um, and people were asking me to talk about card quality, so I'm going to take this little paper off uh, and make sure we get a good look at them here. Um, your locations, again, I'm going to cover all of the gameplay mechanics in a separate video. Um, but basically, these are your zones for spreading out along the game for you to go to uh, and travel on. Uh, they're actually like your spots to move on to. Um, little thin cardboard, all right? A little bit of flex to it. I know people were asking for uh, 
uh, a review of this and how thick and thin it is. Uh, it's it's not hard plastic. Like this is almost cardstock, um, but uh, the printing on it's very nice. It's very clean. The cut on it's very clean. There's not a lot of fraying or anything. So it's a thinner plastic, but it's not you know it's not detrimental. And I mean, if you play with this on a mat, it slides around on a mat just fine, um, and it's not going to catch the edges or anything. So. Uh, that's a good thing and you get quite a few of these um, So like Avengers Tower, Stark Labs uh, Central Park, Shield Headquarters, Shield Helicarrier, Times Square uh, New York Police Headquarters and Avengers Mansion uh, and those are all the zones you're gonna get so uh, again cardstock's not the worst thing in the world, but uh, It is thin. I'm not gonna lie Next, uh, we're going to go to the villain cards. Um, or there's an actual official name for these. I forgot it at this moment. Um, but this also has a villain dashboard on it. And I actually have to peel this off to uh, do it here. So I'm going to move the box back a little bit. Uh, and this is this is kind of how you're going to be seeing this. All right. So your villain dashboard uh, is your hub for where your villain's going to sit, and you're going to kind of play around it. So it's in, it's a centerpiece basically. Um, and it gives you uh, some cards to put here, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Um, but let's say we're playing against the Red Skull here. Uh, he's got his like character thing here, but that's just the back. Flip it over and this is what you're playing with. So you place it here like this. And this is the same card stock as the locations. Relatively thin, but they're longer. So I feel like they're a little more stable. It's nothing to like freak out about. Um, maybe you could like laminate these if you wanted to. Um, but I doubt anyone's going to go through that much trouble. But again, I'm new to this hobby, so I'm sure there's somebody who literally does things like that. Anyway, um, so you have your health location. So for each amount of players, so for two players, he has four health. Three players, he has eight. Four players, he has 11. And you literally stack the, uh, the threat tokens here, uh, and that is his health. Um, and each one of these villains has different effects, right? So if I put these out here... Uh, for those of you who want to see, they all are different, right? So they each have different play styles. And that's kind of the appeal of this game for some people, uh, is that we're going to be getting more villains than this, and each one plays differently. So every time you play a villain, you're going to have a different game experience, and sometimes they drastically change the rules, right? Um, so Red Skull has a whole different scoring method than uh, Ultron. Ultron says if, if all of the locations are full uh, of thugs and stuff, you just automatically lose the game. Uh, but Red Skull is more basing it on fear, so if he overflows the locations with thugs uh, and he gets so many overflowed, this fear tracker, which uh, you get a little blue die, all right, I don't even know if you can see that, it's kind of small, um, but you get a little die to uh, move up and down the fear tracker, and that's kind of how you keep score and everything like that. So um, these are really cool, these is like your main, like, rule uh, changers of the game because each villain like I said is different and then the other appeal is that each hero plays a bit differently uh, and so you can have completely different experiences for a while in just this box with the amount of characters and villains they give you uh, so the next thing we're gonna look at in the box down here uh, you have uh, two stacks of cards I'm assuming this is gonna be your villain cards with the red skull and we have hero cards which is a bit thicker uh, with uh, wasp on the top but before we look at those just to look at the box um, I've been told and I think that's what they ended up finishing with is that if you sleeve all of these right so these are standard card size I checked it um, standard card size if you sleeve all of these these containers down here should be able to fit everything sleeved that's why they did this extra spot in the middle so everything should fit in the box, sleeved, ready to go, and you can store the game that way. So that's kind of a plus. Uh, I haven't tested it yet. Um, I'll probably post on Twitter if it does work, because it'll probably make me really happy. Anyway, um, let's uh, quickly go through the cards, uh, because again, we're going to be covering these uh, more detail probably in the gameplay video. Um, so let me get a knife and do that real quick. All right, got the cards open. Um, just going to review card, card, the card quality here a little bit. Uh, it's thin it's definitely thin all right so um i can show you some flex here little little thin i'll give these a little couple flicks for those of you card enthusiasts who know what i'm talking about um they do feel quite bendable um, but i'm going to be sleeving mine in some clear sleeves so uh, it should give them a little more uh, meat 
to play around with so that they are a little bit a little bit more safe but each character so this, this is kind of the nice part each character has their own deck in the game so if i go through them all i have ant-man captain marvel uh the hulk and cap uh, captain iron <laughs> iron man <laughs> and black widow and i'm assuming the last one is captain america yep uh, so each one has their own character deck and they all have their own art and everything so black widow's borders are black which is really cool and she has like the black uh the black widow mark there that i don't know what you call that the hourglass shape uh and she has like her own special cards and this is kind of what makes each one different so she'll have her own different little thing but everybody has different things and they all have a double wild and they all have a single wild card um, and as you uh, progress through the game and you get a little better at it and you want a little more of a challenge They have challenge modes which are in this stack which I'll show you in a little bit uh, That tell you to take out the wild cards uh, and that's how you can increase the game's uh, difficulty Now the Hulk goes a little more straightforward apparently uh, He doesn't have any cards with like word text on them, but it's the Hulk you kind of know what you get out of him That's kind of normally how that goes, but same thing here uh, he has a couple more uh, actual things to do, and they're all uh, different. They're all say leadership, but they all do a different thing. Um, and you'll see more of the decks as we play the game. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of show you that and show you the card quality. Little thin, uh, but nothing uh, a couple penny sleeves can't save. All right, so this stack has a few more things. All right, so this has uh, the objective cards. All right, so when you fill these up on the hero thing. I just bent that. Don't grab that like that. This this part is very thin and these are very bendable. Uh, do not touch these too much. Just letting you know. But these sit here on the game uh, and as you complete these, so say you complete this first, you take it out, one slides down and now you go down the line that way. Uh, those are your objectives and you'll see that more in our gameplay review. Uh, these are your challenge cards. So they say, take away the single wild, take away the double wild, take away both. Uh, and that's, you know, just some extra little challenges they give you. Now, this is getting into the decks. Okay, so I have Red Skull here um, and Red Skull's threat cards, which if I flip these over, uh, these are the cards that go around the locations. Uh, and there's, there's spots on the bottom of those location cards for you to place these. So if I have a location here, this crossbones card would be sitting here and you have a condition to beat. So in this case, it's a person, like it's a, a thing to kill. Uh, he has a health bar here of six and you'll stack six of those health tokens on there and that's kind of how you clear it out. Uh, they have a bam effect so that if the red skull moves around and he lands on this spot, a bam effect activates and then this happens to this square. So this one's crazy. It says deal two damage to each hero in this location. Uh, any hero can prevent this effect by taking two crisis tokens. Um, and that kind of deals with more with gameplay, so again, we'll talk about that later. Um, but each uh, villain has uh, threat cards that go along with their actual deck, and the decks uh, work like this. You flip them over, just as a hero card would play. It gives you a move. He moves no areas. He activates his BAM effect, which they all have their own BAM effects here. And then he gives you some text for what to do uh, during his turn. And they all have a deck like this. So we have Ultron. And I haven't seen any of Ultron or Taskmaster's stuff, so this is all new for me. Uh, so I'll actually take a look at these threat cards. Um, so he has an Ultron clone, uh, two Ultron clones, so that's different. Uh, and some heroic uh, cards uh, that you use heroic uh tokens to fill these. Sorry, couldn't think of the word. <laughs> um, and that's Ultron, so he's got his own things. And Taskmaster is completely new to me. I've actually seen some of Ultron's cards. Um, but uh, he has all kinds of different stuff. Uh, some moves. He's adding civilians, which is new. I haven't seen a villain add civilians. Uh, but he's got four. Normally these ones with text get a, little, get a little crazy for you, so those are the ones to be worried for. And again, I heard that his was the hardest one to deal with. And yeah, so he doesn't have any any mini villains to fight. So I'm assuming, I'm not reading these because they're upside down, but I'm assuming that these get a little wild. <laughs> so uh, anyway, 
that is pretty much everything you're going to get out of the box, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope for the people that wanted this, uh, they got a good look at the game um, and what you're going to be getting in the box. Again, this is the one that you'll find on store shelves uh, that uh, that is not Walmart. Um, this is the normal retail release and also the Kickstarter base set. So, hope everybody enjoyed this. Uh, we're going to be having a gameplay review. Uh, and possibly more gameplays in the future. I have some ideas of how to do this I just want to see how it plays with me and my friends and see if they like it first. So uh, I will see you guys next time. Uh, I appreciate you being here. Thank you Spin Master um, My guy over at Spin Master, you know, he helps me with Bakugan a lot on this channel uh, But he he blessed me with this. I am so happy for this. I'm super excited for it I'm monotone when I do videos, but I am like freaking out about this right now. So we're gonna go play right now uh, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.